it isn't set up that way, but every once in a while the first reading in the gospel kind of fit together. The Pharisees try to trap Jesus, ask him a question, a loaded question in many ways. You know, if, we're, if you're in any kind of uh, public ministry, we get bombarded with loaded questions. So no matter what you do, you're going to get in trouble. Well, Jesus, of course, turns the, the, the tables on them. It's obvious we should love one another and love our neighbor. But the Sadducees were trying, and the Pharisees were trying to catch him. They're like the first reading. Their bones were so dry that they couldn't, didn't have any life with them, within them. They were walking around in a, like a trance in the dead zone. I'm being a little bit harsh, but it does kind of say what dry bones are about. They have no life, and they don't, in this case, they don't seem to want any life. That's the big issue. Jesus is challenging each and every one of us to live our lives to the fullest and not to be caught up with trying to trap people into making statements that are not true or getting caught so that no matter what you say, you're in trouble. You know, I've gotten to the point in life where I just say what I feel is correct. And if I'm wrong, I hope I admit it. But I've had enough of the double standard with the loaded questions. Well, maybe that's why nobody asks me any questions anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? The whole idea is, is that, you know, pray for people whose bones are dry. That they will wake up and listen to the prophecies and, know, and understand that you know, we're all called to be alive in Christ, to live life to the fullest, to love God with all our hearts and all our souls and our neighbors as ourselves. You know, life's not worth, worth it a lot if we go around hating people, if we're going around trying to catch people. It's not worth living if we're always, the glass is half empty instead of half empty instead of full. So let us pray for the dry bones that they might be enlivened and open to the Spirit of God moving in their lives. Thank you for joining us for the celebration of the Mass today. It's a blessing that you're with us. Every broadcast of this liturgy goes out to hundreds of people and hundreds of people all over the world. It's been an enormous blessing. If you'd like to support this virtual ministry of OLPH, please go Good to our morning. website. You can support this ministry by going to Give Central so that we can continue to broadcast the liturgy each and every week. Thank you for your support. Most of all, thank you for joining us today. God bless you. Greetings from OLPH.